Ah, the dreaded long division. This lesson will look at dividing decimals, including ones with negatives. So here's a lot of steps for dividing decimals. The first thing you want to do is make your divisor a whole number by moving the decimal to the right. So I gave a little graphic there so the divisor is the number that you're dividing into the other number. Then move the decimal in your div dividend, which is the number that's being divided, the same number of spaces to the right. Third, you want to line up your decimal and your quotient, that's your answer, you just put it directly above the decimal and the dividend. And then four, you perform long division until your quotient either ends or repeats, so we'll practice a few of these. Again, be careful to include your final sign. So our first example is this, negative 92.4 divided by 0.7, or 92 and, negative 92 and 4 tenths divided by 7 tenths. So negative 92.4, that's my dividend. That's going to go inside the box. Um, kind of how I write that. So I'll be negative 92.4 in here divided by 0 0.7. Actually probably erase that negative sign just to make it a little bit easier right now and then deal with the negative at the end. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is move the decimal point to the end. So I have 0.7, I'm going to move the decimal to the right to just make this number 7. I moved it one space, so in my dividend I want to also move it one space. So my decimal is going to go right here, 924, and I can move the decimal point in my quotient. My answer will be directly above, right after that. So then I'm just going to start doing that long division, going right in, seeing what I get. So 7 goes into 9 one time, so you put a 1 above, and then remember we multiply 1 times 7, that's 7. We put it below, and then we start subtracting. So 9 minus 7 is 2, and bring down this next 2. Then you do your next step. You're going to say, how many times does 7 go into that 22? Well, 7 goes into 22 3 times, because 3 times 7 is 21 and then I'm going to subtract these. So 22 minus 21 is 1, and I'm going to take this 4 and I'm going to bring it down. 7 goes into 14 2 times, and 2 times 7 is 14, and 14 minus 14 is 0. So since I have a remainder of 0, my number has ended, so I'm done. If it ends or repeats, you can be done. Notice that this number is 132, and the decimal point's after the 2, so there's no number after the decimal point. So this answer is 132. And again, because it's a negative divided by a positive, I'm going to have a negative quotient. Okay, let's look at a second example. This is negative 4.3 divided by negative 0 0.15, or negative 4 and 3 tenths divided by negative 15 hundredths. This is a negative divided by a negative, so my answer will be positive. Again, 4.3 is going to be my dividend. It's being divided by 0 0.15, and I need to try to get my decimal point to the end of my divisor. So this time I'm going to have to go 1, 2, two spaces over to get it to the end. And in my dividend, I need to go one, two spaces over to put a decimal. Notice there's nothing there, so we're going to need to add in a zero. And I'm going to extend this bar and put my decimal point straight above. Okay. And then I'll start dividing. So 15 does not go into four any number of times, so you could put a zero there if you want, and go 15 into 43. 15 goes into 43 two times. 2 times 15 is 30, so I'm going to put that here, and then I'm going to subtract down. 43 minus 30 is 13, and then I need to bring down my 0. So right here, I'm going to bring that down. Then I need to say, how many times does 15 go into 130? 15 goes into 138 times, so I'll do 8 times 15, that's 120. And then I'm going to subtract. Here 130 minus 120 is 10. And notice that's not an, uh, a final difference of 0. Or, and I don't have a repeating pattern yet, so I need to kind of keep going. 
I don't have anything left up here, so what I'm going to do is add in another zero. Okay, so I'm going to add in a zero to bring down. So now this number is 100. So I have to say, how many times does 15 go into 100? Well, 15 goes into 100 six times. And then 6 times 15 is 90. So now I'm going to subtract. Notice 100 minus 90 is 10. Hey, that's kind of weird. That was the same difference I got last time. Let's see if anything strange happens. So again, I'm going to put in another 0, bring it down. Hey, 15 still goes into 100 six times. 6 times 15 is still 90. You can notice we have a repeating pattern going on here. So it looks like this 28 is my whole number. And then the six, a 6 repeats after the decimal point. So I'm going to write a bar over that, 28.6 repeating. And this will be a positive answer because a negative divided by a negative is positive. Hopefully you found long division wasn't as bad as you remembered.